Okay, so here we go again. New game. Um, our last colony completely collapsed, only on episode 4. So we're going to try again. We're still aiming for um, those same achievements. So Locavore is our main goal for now. And also Super sustain Sustainable is going to be a priority, but a lower priority. So let's get started. So this time, I think... I think we're going to try Verdante. I've never played this one before, so it should be interesting. Let's just have a look at what we can get here. Let's have, yeah, this one's fine. Yes, this one. Okay, so what I learned from last time is that I definitely need to get a rancher much quicker. So right off the bat, I'm trying. I'm going to try and get a, uh, a husbandry person. So I'm going to get a digger, a researcher, and someone for husbandry. And that is going to be what we're aiming for for our three people. Um, so we're going to be focusing on getting our critter ranches up and running much quicker and we're going to be trying to find water much quicker as well. So, uh, things I learned from last time, you need food and you need water. Super useful lessons there. Okay, so... Ooh, excavation straight away. Uh, I don't want anyone that farts. Okay, so we need a digger. Yes, this one. Um, we need a researcher. Yep, maybe. Yes this one and then we need a rancher okay so uh, for this one I've decided I'm going to name my people so this is going to be the bad place so we're gonna have Eleanor how do you spell Eleanor? The E L E? I'm just Googling it. E A, apparently. What a weird name. Uh, this can be Jason, and this one can be Chidi. Okay, straight off the bat, this is looking better. We've got two pools of water. Um, we've got some vegetables around here as well. We've got a pip up here. And we've got a pip down here. We've got some oxalite, oxyphen down here. So we're definitely going to dig down there right away. That's going to be our little pit for our oxygen. And, ooh, more water up here. This is going to be great. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is dig across to this water. Um, we're going to leave this one for now and then we're going to dig down to this oxyphen as well to make our uh, carbon dioxide pit. Dig up here to get all of these things as well. So it's going to be a lot of digging to start off with. Mm, we can dig up this tree. We don't need the trees because we don't need lumber. So that's useful. And we'll dig down here to this water. We'll dig down here to this oxy fern. Dig all of this out. And 
and dig across here as well just to get that oxyfern dig up here let's go straight up and mm, I don't want to dig up that so we'll leave that there for now we'll just alter this later Then we're going to dig across here. Now that I know this isn't food, I'm just going to dig it straight up. And dig across here as well. And then we'll dig down this way. I haven't looked at the temperature yet, I should do that. Oh, this is a nice chilled base, that's lovely. And I'm going to put a couple of beds in here as well. This can be our bedroom. We'll dig this out a bit further I think or we'll dig out mm. oh we found a hatch already that's great I think I'm gonna put the bathroom just above this for now we'll just drop a toilet here just so, just so they've got somewhere to go. And then I want to get our power going as well. We'll put that. I want to put it somewhere where they're going to have a decent amount of oxygen. I'll just put it here. This is fine for now. We might move it later. Need some more metal ore though. So we can dig out all of this. We need our research station. And we need some water. I'm going to actually dig this out just a little bit more just so that we've got a really good uh, CO2 pit going on. Oh, we've got some polluted water down here as well. 
So water should not be a problem in this map, which is great because that was our biggest problem in the last one. So I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit just so they can get all this done. I'm going to change the priorities of these people a bit. So Eleanor is going to be our digger. Jason needs to do some research. That's ironic. And then Chidi is going to be our farmer. So I'll put those up a bit. For now, I'm going to put Chidi as a builder as well, just so we can get all these things built and ready. up this priority just so they have somewhere to sleep tonight. And then right away, I want to be thinking about where I want to put my critter ranches. So, having a look at the oxygen right now, I think I'm going to put it just here. And the maximum size of the stable is 96. So if we do... Uh, I am bad at math. Nine by ten would be ninety. So I'm going to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, and we've got our research station up, so right away we need the supercomputer. There it is. So that we can start getting our ranches going as soon as possible. And we've got a blueprint ready, so let's have a look. Oxifern seed, hmm, that might be useful. Uh, we've got... Increased excavation. Mm. Yes. I am going to take her. I'm going to up her priority of digging. How big is this? 8 by 10, so that's 80 squares. I'm going to dig down just a little bit further with this. And we're going to do 8 by 12. We 
which is 96 exactly. Okay, so that is the perfect size for that. That was a lucky guess. And we've got some skills, so let's check this out. Oh, Lindsay gets a skill straight away. So, wasn't she our digger? Yes, she was. But she's not happy about it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to... Give her... I'm going to give her farming as well then. Okay, and what I want to do now is start getting some food going. Um, just microbe musher style food just so they've got something um, ready to go. Okay, so we've got our supercomputer. We're going to go straight into critter ranching. And we're going to put this... We're going to put it over here. We're going to get rid of this toilet. And we're going to build our bathroom. Mm. I think what we're going to do is build the bathroom over here. Maybe here. Yeah, I'm going to put it here because then it's easy access to this water. And let's just wait for them to catch up with all of this. Oh no, are you stuck? Oh, we've got loads of food down here as well. I think I'm going to put a door here. Excuse me. And then dig down a bit further to get to this food. Alright, next thing, do we have, oh, food shortage already, jeez, 
Do we have any algae? Lots of slime, a little bit of algae. So we're going to have to dig through this slime to get to this algae. Hmm. But I want to get it so that we can have our oxygen generation going. We're all right for now. Oh, I need a fourth bed. So now that the bathroom's built, I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm also going to dig down to all of these things here. Oh, we've got some thimble reed down here. We're definitely going to need that for our exosuits. So I'll keep digging. Then we need our supercomputer. So just while we wait for that to get built, I'm going to get our jumbo batteries going. What did we get? Bed and bath. Alright, and then we also need to rename one of our people. Lindsay, you can be... What was the other girl's name? We'll come back to that. Tahani, that's right. Okay. So you are now Tahani. Oh, Eleanor's got herself trapped here. Liquid pump, yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, new printables are available. Let's see. Oh, another oxyphern seed. Let's take that. Alright, so we've got a decent amount of stuff that we just need to wait around for at this point, so I'm just going to fast forward through this and let them catch up a little bit. Oh, we've got a hatch egg here as well. Ooh, our supercomputer is ready. We don't have someone with advanced... Ah, now we do. Advanced research, there we go. Okay, and Chidi gets hard digging. Eleanor also can have hard digging. Because we've got Tahani here who's going to get critter ranching first. We still have power wire that needs to be built. Here we go. Okay. Hmm, we've got a serious lack of oxygen just here. Don't know that we have any algae just yet. Not yet. So hopefully they can dig down towards this pretty quick, get this algae here so we've got some oxygen generation going. I'm also going to dig out all of this. Okay, she's about halfway to getting critter ranching. So I'm going to put down one of our oxygen diffusers just here. Um, we can't use it just yet, but pretty soon we are going to have some algae from this just here. I 
I think I'm going to put a door just in here. Just so this polluted oxygen isn't coming up. Okay, so we've got our research done for that. Um, so there's not really anything that I desperately need right now. Um, I am going to want to get through the hydrogen generation pretty soon. So I'm going to start aiming towards that, but I'm just going to put it on the final, the final uh, option for each of them because it's not super high priority right now. I suppose I do need a mess hall. That should be up there in my priorities, actually. Oh, we've already unlocked it. Oops, I should probably build one of those then. I think I'm going to drop that mm, just here, above the bedroom. We can start building our Critter Ranch even if we can't use it just yet. We got an achievement though. What did we get? Outdoor renovations. Very nice. New printables available. Mm, don't really want any other people just yet. I think I need to move these pips out of here. So I'm just going to put a wrangling location, critter drop off, that's the word I'm looking for, um, just here, because then they can go around all of this area. And then once we've got our Wrangler, we can drop off anything that isn't a hatch. So Pips and Pip Squeaks for now can go just here, just so they're not in this bathroom. All right, so what is our next goal? We're doing okay on food. 
Um, it's not a big problem right now. It will be once all these cactuses are gone. Hexalents are gone. Um, so, critter ranching is priority one. I'm going to build a second ranch just under here for any excess critters that we manage to get. And I still want access to that mealwood as well. Mm, it's going to have to be a bit bigger than that. Otherwise, we're not going to have space for our stations. Okay, let's just have a look. So for it to count as a stable, we need a grooming station and we need a drop-off point. So that's going to be three tiles. So let's just put those in straight away. And then if we put that just there, and then we'll build around that. And then with this, I want to feed them for stone hatch for now. And let's also have sage hatch. How are we doing with our skills? Most of the way there. Okay. I'm going to change the schedules around a little bit as well. Because we've got Jason here who likes the nighttime. So we're going to do a daytime schedule. There we go. And then all of this is going to be work. So we'll have Jason in here and we'll also have, let's have Tinhani in here as well. Oh, we got an achievement. What did we get? A good egg. Hatch a critter. Alright, so while we wait for people to level up a little bit more, I think I'm just going to dig out some more. Because this map is nice and cold pretty much everywhere. So, ooh, what is this? Very cold. Um, so we're not too worried about expanding out into hot areas. We've got a vent over here, cool steam vent. That is going to be useful later. I'm not going to worry about it now because we've got one, two... Oh, we've got a natural gas one as well. We've got three, four, five, six, seven big pools of water, including the first one as well. So this is lower priority, but it's nice to know that that's there. So I'm going to dig out a little bit further in pretty much every direction. I'm going to start by going down, I think. 
And we're going to go directly down from, well, we're going to avoid all of this. We're going to go directly down from here. And I am going to want to research the fire pole pretty quick. And then we'll also go directly up. Well, no, we're not going to go directly up because I don't want to waste that water. So we're going to go across here. And that would also give us access to this millwood and this water. So that's a nice place to go. And we've also got all this salt water over here. Not going to worry about that yet. I am going to start thinking about this polluted water. Also, I want to find out what's in this room. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do that on a slightly higher priority as well. Let's also dig out this pip here, so he can plant some more things. That was the completely wrong button. And then I'm going to stick a pump in here so that I could start pumping this water across to my main reservoir later on. So we need to dig across a little bit here. And then we'll just connect this to this for now. We're only using 300 watts. Research complete. Okay, next research. Um, I want to get the hydrogen generator. Okay, let's just fast forward through this for a little bit. Someone we've got hypothermia. Oh, I haven't built a hospital yet. Ah, ah, got to do that. Let's build a hospital. 
let's put it just here. I'm going to put this as a high priority because this is important. I've made that mistake before. All right, so for it to be a hospital, we need a toilet. We need a sink. We need a mess table. And we need a couple of triage cuts. Okay, so we've got some new printables available. Um, so we've got decreased athletics, don't want that. And don't really need another digger right now, so let's just take this sand. We're doing pretty well on oxygen, that's good. I'm going to dig this out just here, just so I can put a couple of vents. Ooh, colony achievement. What did we get? What did we get? Recover a database. I can't believe I've never done that before. Hmm, that's cool. Oh, I need airflow vents. That's what I need to be researching. There it is. Okay. Ooh, and we've got one of these brain scanner things. Let's get that. Let's put... Let's put Jason in there. Let's get him a new skill. Da 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 This takes a long time. Because I didn't click the button. Um beefsteak. Muscles on their muscles. Very cool. Mm, we definitely need some more algae. I'm just going to dig out these little squares here just so this water goes down into this pit. And then I'm also going to do the same thing here just so this can all flow into one neat little gross area.
think I'm going to do the same thing with this pool. Oh, we've got a skill point. I wonder if that's our rancher. It is our rancher. Yay! You can get super hard digging and you can get field research. Okay, so what I want to do is have all these pips wrangled to here. So let's get that done. So that they can plant some stuff. These ones are fine here. Okay, and um, we need a new research focus. So, um, let's get back to trying to get our hydrogen generator going. Oh, Chidi got stuck. Poor dude. Yes, this is better. We're going to get lots of things planted with these little dudes hanging around. Let's kill this guy. And then I want to wrench our hatches into here. And I want them to do that right now. All right, so we've got our hospital, we've got our mess hall, our barracks, our two stables. We need to set this to auto wrangle after eight. Um, we've got our latrine. We've got, eh, again, we're struggling on food a little bit, but I'm hoping that since we've got this critter ranch up and running so much quicker, we might be okay. Alright, so Tahani is going to be farming and ranching on a high priority. Chidi is our digger. There we go. I'm also going to disable this for now because this is okay right now and I don't want this to get buried.
Um, we've got some new printables available. Let's check this out. What do we have? Bristleberries, snazzy suit, narcoleptic, unconstructive. Let's take this snazzy suit. Let's give it to Eleanor. Since this is like right here as well, I'm just going to put a couple of lips here and here, just in case anyone has any accidents. Oh, we've got another saltwater geyser here, and this one is not so hot. This is only coming out at... Oh, that is hot. Never mind. But it's there for when we need it. Okay, so we're going to end there for now. This is a pretty good start. Um, once again, we are struggling with food a little bit because we are trying to get this locavore achievement. But let's just take a look at how much they have eaten already. Um, we were so, so close last time. We were on like 350 out of 400,000. Here we go. So we're on 50,000 so far. We've still got a couple of these cactuses around, so we should be good for a while. Um, we've got some mealwood here that needs to be harvested as, as well. Um, we've got someone here making micro musher stuff. Um, yeah, and we've got another one down here. So right now, we're probably not going to die. Um, I am just going to keep it at a low amount of people for now, just until we've got some more hatches going on here. I want to have like a solid full ranch here before I start taking on more people. So, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you all in the next one, and thanks for tuning in.